lady and lady in the audience. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. Yay, debaters. Okay. So we'd like to first welcome Julie as the Prime Minister uh, to open our debate for today. So if you could go ahead and take the stand there, Miss Julie, that would be lovely. And we'd like to remind that uh, Miss Faith here will be your timekeeper today. So if you're interested in watching your time, she will give you your hand signals. Uh, just so you know, remember that the crooked finger is 30 seconds left, 15 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then she will yell stop. Okay. Uh, do you want to make sure that that's turned on? Is it on the on? It is on. Fabulous. Okay, great. All right. I think we are ready. So, Miss Timekeeper, are you ready? Yes. All right. Miss Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and begin. Hello, I'm Julie. I'm from the government. And this is my partner, Eli, and thanks to the opposite and the audience, timekeeper, and the judge. Well, our topics for today is should students assemble where you want to say grace or not? And we chose not. Be the reason for it is because of time. It takes time in the morning when the, you are late and the students don't have time to show a good look for it. The second point is because of weather. Missouri has unstable weather, especially in the winter. So I'm sure that no one of the students want to wear uh, like uh, uh, uncovered clothes. And third point is for money, and I'm they don't want to spend expensive money for fancy clothes. Our point is, student assemble should not wear their, their Wednesday clothes because of other reason, times, weather, and money. And I would thanks to the judge, to my partner, judge, timekeeper, and opposite team. Okay, let's give a round of applause then. Round of applause. And time, please, timekeeper. I'm sorry? If it's stopwatch, you should t just tell me how long she spoke for. Oh, right. <laughs> just, just tell me what's on the stopwatch. One minute and 40 seconds. Okay, one minute and 40, did you say? Okay, one minute and 40 seconds. Thank you very much, Ms. Timekeeper. No problem. I know it's a lot of pressure. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and Ms. Timekeeper, please put one minute on the clock and we'll have Andrew prepare his statements for the opposition. Okay, about one minute. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Timekeeper. All right, Ms. Timekeeper, let's go ahead and give Andrew a round of applause. Yay! And all members, I guess, as well. Good way today. Um, we would like to thank Mr. Andrew for being here today, and we'd like to remind him that his speech should not exceed any more than three minutes, please. Ms. Timekeeper, are you ready? Yes. All right, Mr. Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and begin. All right, hello, my name is Andrew. I would like to thank, before we get started, my partner, Brooke, the government, as well as the audience, judges, and timekeeper for being here today. So our topic is, should students at St. Paul's wear Wednesday dress on Wednesdays? 
and we are going to, they said that they should not have to, we are going to oppose that and say that they should have to wear a Wednesday dress. So their first reason for doing that was that when you're late, you don't have time to dress well or to get completely ready for Wednesday. We think this is not true because if any clothes can take long to prepare or change. We don't think that Wednesday dress takes much longer to change into or prepare. Uh, the second point was that the weather, when it's cold, you don't want to wear clothes like shorts or something of that, uh, that type of clothes that are cold to wear when it's really cold outside. Well, we say uh, you can wear pants or sweaters. There's no rule saying that you have to wear uh, like a dress or a skirt or out of short sleeves. You can layer up and you can still wear a coat on top of that. So it shouldn't matter that much. The last point was uh, money and that Wednesday dress can be expensive. Well, this is true for some Wednesday dress, but there are plenty of other options for Wednesday dress clothes. And you don't have to wear like a suit and tie to Wednesday dress. You can wear khaki pants as well as like a polo t-shirt or something. It doesn't have to be super fancy. So once again, we'd like to restate that uh, it doesn't take that long to prepare. Uh, for this weather, if it is cold outside, you can wear warmer clothes. There's nothing against that. And for money, you can buy cheaper clothes. So I'd like to thank my partner, the government, as well as the audience, judges, and timekeeper. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's give him a round of applause. And time, please, timekeeper. 2.15. Thank you very much. All right, Miss Timekeeper, if you're okay, I would like you to please put one minute on the clock for Eli to prepare his statements for the government. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> One minute. Okay, thank you, Miss Timekeeper. All right, ladies and I'm sorry I keep doing that. Lady, let's give a round of applause to our second speaker for the government, Eli, and welcome him to the stand. And we'd like to just remind Mr. Speaker and Miss Timekeeper uh, that this is again a speech that should not exceed three minutes. Miss Timekeeper, are you ready? I'm sorry, yeah. three minutes or two minutes? Three minutes, three minutes. Okay, and Ms. Timekeeper says she's ready. So, Mr. Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and begin. All right. Hi, I'm Eli Haynes. Uh, I am the member of the government. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank my partner, Julie, as well as the opposition. Um, I would also like to thank the audience, as well as the timekeeper and the judge. Um, all right, well, the topic of, topic of this debate is whether or not students at St. Paul should be required to wear a Wednesday dress. The position of the government is that they should not be required. Um, our first point of debate was that many students don't have time to dress up in the morning. Um, the opposition said that that is untrue because anything takes time to prepare to wear. However, lots of Wednesday dress um, takes a lot of time to wear, especially if you consider the accessories that you're wearing as well as makeup and a lot of Wednesday dress um, is very cumbersome and may take time to put on. Um, the other point of argument that the opposition brought up um, was that um, anybody, any student at St. Paul can wear pants or sweaters in order to combat the cold weather um, because there are no rules against that type of clothing. However, many female students at St. Paul in particular may feel more comfortable 
wearing a dress to show their feminine qualities. Um, however, dresses can be very breezy and difficult to wear during the winter. Um, the third argument that the opposition is opposing is money. And they agree with the government that that point is true. However, there are other options. The government is in the position that depending on how you want to look on Wednesday, how a St. Paul student might want to look on a Wednesday, um, that in order to feel as uh, comfortable as you might want to, it does cost a lot of money to uh, present yourself in a manner that you feel is appropriate. Um, once again, I would like to restate the topic that um, whether or not Wednesday dress should be required at St. Paul, um, our topics are that it takes time in the morning to prepare, um, that the weather can be a factor that um, may make you want to wear something else, and that money is a large factor in uh, whether or not you like to wear Wednesday dress. Um, once again, I'd like to thank my partner, Julie, the opposition, as well as the timekeeper, the judge, and what little audience we have. Thank you very much, and vote for government. Okay, thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. And time, please, timekeeper. <laughs> 235. Thank you so much, Ms. Timekeeper. All right. Will you please, Ms. Timekeeper, go ahead and put one minute on the clock for Brooke to prepare her statements, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Timekeeper. All right, let's go ahead and give a round of applause for Brooke as the second speaker for the opposition. We'd like to remind both Ms. Speaker and Ms. Timekeeper again that this is a speech that should not exceed just three minutes in length. Ms. Timekeeper, are you ready? Okay, Ms. Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can hit it. Um, I would like to thank my partner, Andrew, the government, the audience, the judge, and the timekeeper. Um, the debate topic is whether students should wear Wednesday dress or not, and we believe, as the opposition, that they should not. And the three points that were brought up were, um, the first one was, it takes time to wear a Wednesday dress, and they bolstered that by saying that you also wear accessories when there's Wednesday dress, but you can students at St. Paul can accessorize at any time. So it isn't always just Wednesday dress. They also said that um, females, even though you can wear pants or sweaters on Wednesday dress, that females may feel more comfortable wearing dresses. But that's really more about where you put your value. So if you value the fact that um, if you value being comfortable, then you can wear a Wednesday dress. And on any day, you can choose to be uncomfortable to look good. That's kind of just something you choose to sacrifice in every day. So it doesn't just apply to Wednesday dress. And their third point was fancy clothes cost money, but all clothes cost money. And students are occasionally willing to sacrifice and pay more money for average clothes and you can also use these fancy clothes that you buy for Wednesday dress in different occasions like church or dances or if you go on a date or something like those can always use. An additional point we would like to bring up is overall Wednesday dress was originally institu instituted so it can be a sign of respect for other people 
and also God. So by dressing up, we kind of like to show that. And that's kind of what is the most important part about Wednesday dress, I would say. Or it can be the most important part and what some students would like to think of it as. So um, our three points are um, all any time you would like to uh, look good takes time. Um, it depends on where you put your value for if you want to wear pants or not for Wednesday dress, even if you are a female. And um, fancy clothes and all other clothes cost money. So I would like to thank my partner, the government, the audience, judges, and timekeeper for being here today. And remember to vote for opposition. Stop. Okay. Thank you very ah. much. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All right, we'll put that one right at three. And if you could please put one minute on the clock. Remember, we're coming back to you, Andrew, to support your partner for your final speech. That should not exceed two minutes. So about one minute on the clock, please. <clears throat> Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Timekeeper. All right, let's welcome, finally, for the opposition, Andrew again with a round of applause. Now, we'd like to remind both Mr. Speaker and Ms. Timekeeper that this speech only should not exceed just two minutes, all right, because these last two speeches, so only two minutes in length. Ms. Timekeeper, are you ready? Okay, Mr. Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and begin. Great. Hello, my name is Andrew. Before I start, I'd like to thank my partner, Brooke, the government, as well as the audience, judges, and timekeeper. The topic we are debating is should students or not should students wear a Wednesday dress or not. We have chosen to say yes, they should. The first points brought up were that if you're late, you don't have time to dress well. We countered that by saying uh, any clothes can take long to prepare or and change into. So. Uh, the second point is the weather can be cold and you don't want to wear clothes that are cold. We said that you can wear pants and sweaters and there's nothing against that. Uh, they responded by saying that sometimes females want to wear a dress. And we said that it's kind of your choice if you value comfort over looking good. It just depends. The third point was that money can be... Or, Clothes can be expensive and cost a lot of money. We said there are cheaper options, so it doesn't that doesn't matter. For the first point that they brought up, that sometimes you don't have to, time to dress well. Uh, they said it just anything can take long to dress well. Uh, and the last point that we brought up was Wednesday dress uh, when it was first brought here it was meant for like respect for God and others. We it's only once a week, so it's not that bad. So I'd like to thank my partner Brooke, the government, the audience judges and timekeeper, and remember to vote for opposition. Okay, thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. And time please timekeeper. 146. Thank you very much. All right, if you would put one more minute on the clock for Julie to prepare her closing arguments, I would appreciate that. Thank you, Ms. Timekeeper.
Okay, thank you very much, Faith. Appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and welcome Julie as the last speaker for our debate today. Yay! And we'd like to remind both Miss Speaker and Miss Timekeeper again, this is a speech that should not exceed just two minutes in uh, nature. Okay, only two minutes for the time. Miss Timekeeper, are you ready? Okay, Miss Speaker, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and begin. I'm Julie. I'm from government. Firstly, I want to thank my partner Eli also the opposition and the church and Tamar and audience as well. Our topic today is should students assemble when Wednesday dress or not? We chose not. The first we, point we brought up is it takes time to wear accessories and makeup and they say that it doesn't really need to and we, we think that Students assemble their optional to make them feel good and comfortable to people. The second point is the weather. We, uh, the government brought up that winter will be very cold to wear in dress. And the opposition state that they don't even need to, they can wear pants. And we brought up the value. And the third point is Money, every clothes has to spend money, especially for Wednesday clothes, it needs extra money for it. And the opposition say that it doesn't need that much. But our point we want we want to tell that it um, they they can show their style by their mission map fashion. They say that we need to respect people on Wednesday thing and God. We think that respectful can be shown by action. We also go into chapel on Monday and Friday, but students don't need to wear when they dress. And again, we say that we are the student assembly should not wear when they dress on Wednesday. But I want to thank to my partner, opposition, government, the church and uh Okay, thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you. And let's thank you all debaters today. Woo! You made it through your first one. Good job. Good job.